Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today I'm going to talk about the Ring security system one year later. So I have had this installed for uh, probably a little bit over a year, the Ring Alarm or Ring security system, and just going to give you my thoughts on it, how this works, and some of the things I like about it, and some of the things that I don't like about it. So the primary way that this Ring security system works is that... Uh, You've got this base station here, and this is the brains of the operation. It also includes the siren in here. And what this does is it connects to your Wi-Fi network and then can be controlled from your phone uh, via a keypad here and or even Alexa if you wanted to. And the base station has built-in cellular backup in case your Wi-Fi network goes down, and it also does have a built-in battery backup, which is a really nice feature if you have a power outage. The siren on this thing is incredibly loud and you can place this pretty much anywhere. It just has a little plug in here. So you could put this in a closet. Um, you could put it on the wall somewhere or a, a basement even if you wanted to because you can get additional sirens for the system. So you can really place this anywhere in your home that it's going to get Wi-Fi coverage and with modern routers today that shouldn't be an issue uh, if you've got a mesh networking system. So what this does is it will connect to Wi-Fi, but then it will change that Wi-Fi signal for control signals uh, into a Z-Wave signal, which then communicates with these sensors. And Z-Wave is a home automation protocol, which allows lower energy transmission of information than Wi-Fi. And the reason that you want that is because most of these sensors are battery powered, which means that the battery will last longer when it's connected to Z-Wave. There is another advantage of using Z-Wave for this system in that there are a lot of smart home devices, third-party devices that will also work with your Ring security system uh, like light switches and smart locks and integrate on that same app because it all is one app. And you might have heard it beep there and that's because I think my wife just took the dog out uh, so you can see that it is working. If you like that feature, uh, it is a nice feature. I like that beep beep noise whenever the door opens just to give you an idea of what is going on in your house. Uh, another advantage besides working with locks and smart light switches and third-party devices is that Z-Wave is actually a mesh protocol or mesh network. So most Z-Wave devices are capable of listening to another Z-Wave device signal and repeating that signal throughout the network. So each Z-Wave device can actually act like a mesh network or mesh router and communicate information to other devices, which extends the range of most systems. Now, another nice feature of the ring system is that you actually have a range extender that you can get with these if you are having any issues with connectivity. I haven't had any issues with connectivity in a multi-level home, and uh, for most people, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Maybe if you get to a home over 3,000, 4,000 square feet, you might need a range extender. For most people, this is going to have enough range to get to most of the devices. And if you're having range issues, like I said, it's not a big deal. You just get another range extender, which is easy to add to the network, and you could extend this so you're getting full connectivity everywhere. Another feature that I have liked over using this on a year is all the different sensors that you can get for the ring system. Uh, not every security system has as many different sensors as the Ring security system does. So I have a couple of them out here, but I have a lot of them installed, so I didn't take them all down to uh, use them. One of my favorite sensors is the freeze flood sensor, and this has saved me a couple times. It will detect if there is either water detected or if there is a cold temperature, which might freeze your pipe. So I live in Chicago here. It gets very cold in the winter, and there have been a couple times that sensor went off, and I knew that I needed to turn up the heat or make sure that the pipes didn't get any colder, so I avoided those pipes freezing. In Chicago, you get horror stories of people whose houses have been flooded because of frozen pipes, and avoiding that with just that little sensor is a great way to make sure that your home is safe. Now, it also has a flood sensor, so if you wanna put this underneath your sink or somewhere that you might have a flood condition, maybe near a sump pump or in a basement or a place that you're likely to get water, it's a great way to notify you when you're starting to get some water before a little bit of water becomes a huge problem. And water is one of the most damaging things to homes and very common for a lot of people if you have a basement or if you live in an area where you get a lot of rain and all of a sudden you can get a flood or a sump pump failure or a powder outage or all of those things all at the same time. 
and having that sensor can help you avoid a big problem. So I really enjoy that. Some of the other sensors that Ring has are a window and door sensor, which this is just a contact sensor, um, just like so. You put that on a window or door. Um, they have a motion sensor, which you could put to detect motion. Uh, these are all battery powered, by the way. There is a Ring Smoke CO listener, and what this does, it's a retrofit battery powered device. You put this next to a existing smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector, and it listens for that existing detector to go off, and then will alert you in the app if one of those goes off. So that is a nice feature. The Ring also has smoke detectors that will work with the security system if you just wanna hardwire one in, or you wanna replace your existing smoke detectors, which most people forget. You are supposed to replace your existing smoke detectors every 10 years. I feel like very few people follow that, but you should. Uh, the reason is that the elements in smoke and carbon monoxide detectors do wear out over a period of time. Two other sensors or devices that I like for the Ring system are uh, this keypad. And this is kind of an overlooked feature, this keypad. And the reason that I say that is because Ring allows you to have multiple keypads, which a lot of other systems don't allow you to have that. And why I like that is because if you're going to use your security system and alarm system all the time, it's nice to have one of these at each point of entry that you use consistently. So maybe put one at the front door, maybe put one in your garage, and then maybe put one in your master bedroom for nighttime when you just wanna push a button and arm the security system or disarm it in the morning. Yes, you can do this from your phone, but you may not always have your phone or your fit phone may not always be charged. You can also arm or disarm the security system with Alexa, but I have found it's just easy to have the keypads throughout the home and disarm and arm the system from the keypad. Just push in your code and you are ready to go. I really like that feature because these don't need to be hardwired. They're just battery powered. Uh, like once every six months, you charge them up. They'll tell you on the app if they need to be charged and uh, you put them right back on the wall and they look like they're built in, no problem. So I'd really do like that feature of the alarm system keypad and not every security system has that so this is a really nice feature and the keypad has three different modes here uh home which arms any kind of window or door sensors but does not arm motion sensors away which arms all sensors including motion sensors and window and door sensors and then unarmed so really easy, just press these three buttons here and you can toggle between whatever modes you want. Two other sensors that I like with the Ring security system and Ring alarm system are the panic button, which is really convenient just to have next to your bedside. And if you hear something in the middle of the night, you can press that panic button, which will alert an alarm company if you've got the professional monitoring connected and it will also trigger the alarm. The extra sirens are also really nice for the ring security system because if you want to be able to hear the ring security system in other parts of your house or maybe you want one in your garage or near your front door so your neighbors can hear if the alarm goes off, uh, you can get additional third-party sirens that will work with the ring security system. Another device that I don't have but I have tested is the Ring Retrofit Security System. And what the Ring Retrofit Security System does is it will connect to this base station and all these other components, but it will actually use existing alarm wiring and sensors. So if you have a home that still has wired sensors or wired alarm devices, what you can do is take your old control panel out and just wire it into this retrofit kit and it will update all those sensors to work with Ring so that you don't have to install new sensors. You can just use your existing wired sensors with the retrofit kit that then connects to the base station and all these other devices. The Ring security system works with the Ring app, which also works with Ring doorbells or any other Ring devices that you may have. So I've really liked to be able to see the doorbell and the alarm system all on one app, and you can even add some other third-party devices to that Ring app. Overall, the app is easy to use. The features to arm and disarm the system are simple. You can see the history of any of your devices there, when your door was opened or closed, or when motion was detected, which is a nice feature, I think, to be able to see what's going on in your home. Through the app, you can also subscribe to professional monitoring, and I think that's one of the biggest deals with the Ring system. 
You don't have to have professional monitoring for the Ring system to work for you. It will work and alarm and all the sensors will work and they will work with your phone and everything else without professional monitoring, which I think is great. But if you want professional monitoring, it's only $10 a month, which is a great deal when you compare it to other systems. For $10 a month, not only do you get professional monitoring where if the alarm is tripped, it will trigger a call to a security monitoring company. You also get free video storage for any of your Ring camera devices or Ring doorbell devices. So it will store up to a month of footage for free when you have that $10 per month alarm professional monitoring package. So you get a combo deal there where not only do you get professional alarm monitoring, but you get video storage basically for free once you pay for the alarm monitoring, which is a great deal. So you're gonna have that ring doorbell footage recorded or ring camera footage recorded and say it for 30 days or up to 30 days when you get that professional monitoring plan, which I really like. When you compare this to other manufacturers out there, that is one of the better deals at $10 a month for the ring security system. Some are $29 per month, some are $50 a month, some are even $70 a month, or they make you pay an annuity for the alarm system itself. So you're not only paying for the actual monthly cost of monitoring of the system, but you're also paying a cost for the components that you installed for that alarm system. Whereas Ring, you buy the sensors once, you don't have to pay for professional monitoring or the cost of the system. You just pay that one-time cost. And then you can decide if you want that $10 a month subscription for the professional monitoring. And on top of the professional monitoring for $10 a month, you don't have to subscribe for a year or two years or three years. You can do month to month if you want, which is a great deal if you don't wanna pay that long-term contract cost and gives you the flexibility. If you move to a new house or a new apartment, or condo, you don't have to worry about being locked into this security system contract. Another nice feature of the Ring app is the neighbors function. So in the neighbors portal on your Ring app, what it is is people can post videos from their doorbells or report incidents or crimes in their neighborhood around you on an approximate map. And you can report them as well or comment on them. So it's just a good way to keep a pulse on what's going on in your neighborhood. Most of the time you see people with uh, Amazon packages stolen or lost dogs that are found. And surprisingly, a lot of people's dogs who do get lost eventually get found because of the Ring Neighbors app. I think it is a good function for people to be able to share in their community what's going on and just keep a pulse on what's going on around your neighborhood. In addition to the Ring app functionality, there is also some functionality with Ring and Alexa. We've got another video that shows you how to connect Ring and Alexa, but with voice commands, you can actually arm and disarm your Ring system using Alexa, which can be really nice if you're lying in bed and wanna make sure that you arm your system or if you are leaving your house and just walk by an Alexa device and want to arm your system, you can say, Alexa, arm Ring security system, and it's going to arm it for you as you walk out the door. Overall, I think the Ring security system is a great value for that $10 a month if you want the professional monitoring. And the professional monitoring, in my experience, has been the same as pretty much any other security system or security company. It goes to a call center, they ask if you're okay, and if you don't respond or don't say you're okay or disarm, then they're going to dispatch first responders to your home or your address. Overall, this system gives you features that are comparable to a professional grade or professional level security system, but at a DIY price point and DIY friendly installation. All of these sensors can be installed by screwing them in, or you can just use the provided adhesive. I've installed most of mine with the provided adhesive and none of them have fallen down. They are very secure. It's similar to like a GoPro adhesive that's on the back of these. And that goes for the majority of the sensors. You can just peel and stick and put these things up. And I think that is where this shines, the value and the accessibility of the DIY system. Now, as for things I don't like about this system, one thing I would like to see for the ring security system and ring alarm system is the addition of a glass break sensor, something that is listening to sounds and can tell you if glass has been broken in your home. 
Now, Alexa combined with Ring does have some of that functionality where you can use these speakers on your Alexa devices as a glass break sensor, but it would be nice just to have a standalone glass break sensor for the Ring security system. But other than that, there's not really much to dislike about this system. It works well, it's been consistent. I haven't had any issues with it. The batteries have lasted the entire year that they've been installed and it's really easy to replace. We've got videos on that. Overall, I give this a thumbs up if you are looking for a good value security system that is reliable, that you want to protect your home, and you wanna install it yourself without a contract, which I think appeals to a lot of people. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and click on any of the links below if you wanna support us or visit onehoursmarthome.com.